Hey everyone, Joe here. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can set up your own uh, text ticker inside OBS Studio. Now, unlike most other tutorials, I'm also going to show you how you can draw your very own. So, this is going to be a pretty good tutorial. Might be a little long, but I hope everybody enjoys it. But before we get started, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Win Optimizer 18 is a system optimization suite that takes care of the weak spots in every Windows machine. The program boosts performance, fixes system errors, and reduces file clutter. Don't miss my demo review of Win Optimizer 18. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everyone. Now, the program I'm going to be using to draw today is Affinity Photo. However, everything I'm showing you here, you can pretty much do in GIMP, which is completely free. And, of course, also Photoshop. I am using Affinity Photo because it's the program I like the most, but everything I'm showing you is pretty much the same throughout any other drawing program or any other photo editing program. So the first thing we need to do is go down and uh, create a new file. And for this, uh, I am actually going to use 1920 by 1080. Now, I me mean, personally, when I go to draw a lot of my graphics and stuff, I will actually make them much smaller. But for the sake of this tutorial, to keep things simple, we're going to choose 1920 by 1080. And you know, uh, since that's also the video size we're using in OBS Studio. Let's choose that one. And if you have an option to make the uh, background transparent, now's the time to choose that because you do want a transparent background or else you're not going to be able to see the video inside OBS. So click on that and let's uh, click create. And if you see like inside uh, GIMP or Photoshop, if you see the little checkerboards and stuff, then that means the background is transparent and you're good to go. All right, like I said, I am using Affinity Photo. I'm not affiliated with them. However, I will link it down in the description below as actually is my preferred uh, photo editing and graphics drawing program of choice. Okay. That said, here we go. This is uh, 1920 by 1080 full HD. So let's start by drawing a, our first graphic and that is going to be a simple rectangle. And this is going to be something we want our text to be scrolling on top of. So I'm going to choose that. Fill, I'm actually going to go down to black on the fill. Once we got that done, I'm actually going to go to effects. And I'm going to add a outer shadow. And I'm actually going to make it about 16 pixels. Okay. And let's go down here and I'm actually going to add a gradient overlay. Let me choose the gear icon. Like I said, in Photoshop, this is also very similar. You just have to choose which one you want to use. Yeah, let's make it just a little bit like that. Just something to have the text scrolling over the top of. And that overall looks pretty decent. Maybe I want to make it 3D. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it 3D. Yeah. yeah, very simple. Now, this is what we're going to have our text going over the top of. And let's go back to layers here and let's draw our next layer. And this one I'm going to put over here. We can leave that black for the time, to, uh, just for temporary. And you notice when I created the next rectangle, I need to create a, another layer. Now I'm going to change this from single radius. I'm actually going to have my own radius here. Go to straight line and increase that. As you can notice, it made a little slanted line. And this is important because it's going to make our text look at coming uh, out from behind it, make it look more professional looking. Okay. So now that we've got that done, let's go over here and go to effects to it. And let's just click on the gear icon, to pull up all the effects. Now I do want a outer shadow as well. I think I'm going to go at least 16 on that. I do want a inner shadow, although we won't be able to see it at the moment. Just go ahead and just dial it in at 16. And let's go down here to color overlay because I want to change the color to something more blue. About right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And if I take the inner shadow, it makes it just a little bit more arty. And I want to throw an outline on that. And I'm not going to use a, a solid line. I'm going to use a gradient for the uh, outline. And let's see if we can increase this a couple pixels. Something like that. 
and let's do outside yeah outside works just fine and let me see if there's anything else I want to do I want to change just about like here we go more like that to make it uh, look more arty okay and of course you'll get our outer shadow may want to increase it just a little bit more till we see it at the background or we'll increase that here we go you can do it this way to make it show a little bit better make it go back that way I think it'll work pretty good yeah that'll work good enough I think it is a little thick on the outline though I think I'm gonna go about like six on it yeah that looks pretty decent now let's zoom in here on this right here area kind of tidy it up make it look about where I want it maybe you want it bigger maybe you want it smaller it's really up to you I think that looks pretty decent to me okay now we're at it I'm gonna grab some graphics I already have here so let's grab our twitch logo let's pop it down here go back over here to layers and let's grab our pointer grab our twitch logo which is huge man to scale everything down I have a lot of little graphics and stuff that I use yeah scroll that down smaller pop that in there maybe you also want to grab say a YouTube logo and let's go grab this one also pretty large size scroll it down and we'll put that in there also and one more for the heck of it Let's grab our Twitter, because everybody's at Twitter, right? <laughs> okay, there we go. Grab our Twitter one. Let's size it down also. Okay. Now, if you want, you can grab these three. Throw them in their own little group. And we can go to effects, and we can add drop shadows to them as well. So I'm going to drop a drop shadow on those. Just to make them a little bit more arty looking. There we go. Fairly simple. Now over here on the other side, I am going to grab one of my graphics, my cave logo, Joe's Cave. And I am going to pull this one over, and it is also way too big. Let's make it smaller and put it about right here. Okay. So overall, that looks pretty basic. <laughs> I would actually spend a lot more time tidying this up if I, you know, was actually going to use it. But this is for tutorial purpose and trying to give everybody an idea of how to go about this. You can spend as much time as you want making yours look nice. I recommend you do spend as much time as possible and make it look very nice. Because the more professional your stream looks or it is stream or any of your other videos, the more people who will watch them. Okay, let me see. Yeah, that little shadow. Little shadow's nice on everything. Okay. Let's go back over here to layers. Let's grab these, the top layers. Put them in their own group. And let's name that group top. And that bottom one, rectangle. Let's go ahead and throw it in its own group as well. And name it bottom. All right. So here's how this is going to work. We have two sets of uh, groups here. We have our tops, which I just uh, hidden, and we have our bottom. Now in OBS, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom, then we're gonna have, we're gonna take the bottom, <laughs> then we're gonna have the top, and we're gonna stick our text in between. So since we got these saved, uh, actually draw it up, let's save them, go ahead and go to export. And you want to make sure it is PNG. That way you'll have, you know, it's portable network graphics. And that way you'd also be transparent because JPEG will not save a transparent layer. And let's go to export and I'm gonna put these on my desktop. I'm just gonna call it, you know, tutorial overlay. However, first, almost messed up, we need to hide the top. <laughs> go to export, let me do this again. <laughs> Sorry about that, get ahead of myself. Click on export, desktop. Let's call this the bottom. I can spell. Save that one. 
Then let's hide the bottom and show our top and go to export and type in top. All right. And now that we have both uh, saved, you can just go ahead and save the file and your tutorial. Boom. I think I misspelled that. But anyway, now that we got it created, let's hop over here to OBS and I'll show you how to install it. Okay, everybody. Well, here we are in OBS Studio and I'm going to show you how to set up your text ticker. Now, you probably noticed the video from where I'm speaking, my mouth, <laughs> and the audio isn't synced up correctly. And that's because there is a delay in my capture card. And for this tutorial, we're not going to get into that. However, I already have a tutorial on how to sync your audio and video up correctly in OBS. So do check out in the cards for that video. Okay. That said, you see me already have my video set up. Now I am going to remove this video and show you how to add your own video in case you don't understand this step. So let me just go ahead and just remove that right quick. Yeah, remove. Yes, and it is gone. Yeah, so now you're probably happy because you don't see me. So I understand. But let's go ahead and add video capture device. I'm just gonna leave this video capture device and click OK. And FHD for HD capture card is shown up. Okay. I'm gonna go to custom resolution. Make sure it is set to 1920 by 1080 because that's what I'm using. Frames per second need to be at 30. Video format, just leave it on any. Color space needs to be Rec 709. Color range needs to be partial. And you'll probably notice uh, between partial and full, it gets a little more flatter. Now that's totally up to you if you want to use that. However, this capture card really only does partial. So this is the more correct one to use. Okay. That looks good. Let's go ahead and click that. And before we click on the little lock icon, let's right click on it and let's go up to transform and see here, flip horizontally. Boom. And there it looks right to me. A normal mirror look. Okay. Wonderful. Next thing we need to do is add our images and stuff. So let's go ahead and click, uh, see here, image, there we go. And we'll call this one tutorial bottom and click okay. All right. Now I do want to point out that you need to put your images, you know, before we save them to the desktop, you need to put them in your final location because if you still have them on the desktop and you turn around and try to set all this up, then eventually move them off the desktop, well then OBS will not be able to find those images. So put them somewhere where you're gonna not be moving them around. All right, let's go to browse, mine on the desktop still, and I'm gonna choose the bottom, click okay, and that one is up. Wonderful. Now let's add our next one. And let's go to image. And call this one tutorial top and click OK and grab that one off the top. Boom, done. And let's make sure we lock both of these in place because they are where I want them. As you can see, that looks fairly OK. <laughs> so anyway, so now the uh, thing is, I'm going to show you how to add your text to it and make your text scroll. Since we got both those up, let's go ahead and add text. The text GDI plus, click OK. And let's type in Welcome to Joe's Cave. Make sure to follow us. Mm, okay, on Twitter. And don't miss us on see what would it be twitch and youtube let's just put the and side in there okay now it works fine and let's click see that up there let's change our font size something a little bit more manageable say 36 oh that's still a little too small let's check font 72 
and that works pretty decent for the most part. 72 looks good. All right. Now let's drag this down and put this about right here. Now you're probably thinking, oh, it's on top of everything. Let's go over here to the sources and let's drag this down and put it between the top and the bottom. Once we got that done, you like where it is, lock it in. All right. Now you probably see it is coming out on the side here a little bit and we can what you call crop that out. So it's no big deal. Um, yeah, let's go here and go to transform. Do I want to crop it this way? No, I'm going to go over here to add a filters. And let's add a crop for it right quick. A crop or pad. Boom, boom, boom. And that is to the right. And let's add 4,000 or something. I'm not sure what it is. All right. 400, maybe. Let's go 600. Nope, 800, let's go 1,200. Oh, we're getting closer. 1,250, yeah, there we go, 1,250. As you can see now, it's not showing up behind that. Once we get that done, lock it in. And let's go up and add another filter. And let's click on this one, will be scroll. Yep, there we go. And you have two different ways to make things scroll here. You got vertical which will look wrong. So we'll <laughs> set that by the default. And you get horizontal here. And let's see, I normally use about 30. You can make it go faster if you want, but maybe too fast to read, it's up to you. You know, 60 sometimes looks uh, pretty okay. Yeah, 60 looks fine on this one. And there we go. Click close. And there it is, set up. Welcome to Joe's Cave. As you'll notice, it shows behind uh, the top level and it shows in front of the bottom level. And that's how to make your, you know, what you call it? The, what do you call this thing? <laughs> ticker, I keep forgetting that name. The ticker text uh, look really nice and stuff and really, really professional. So anyway, hope this helped you. Okay, everybody, for those of you still watching, I have to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, it's longer than I normally like to make, but it's a lot of uh, information to cover in a very short amount of time. So anyway, thank you for taking the time to watch this again. But if you like this video, have a give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up's always highly appreciated. Now, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. It lets you know when I release more wonderful uh, videos. And also, if you like to find out, get more help on creating content, do check out our Discord channel. Link's down in the description below. So, anyway, that's it for this video, one. Again, thank you for watching. Hope to see y'all in the next video.